Peace, family. Get ready for this review for the Jordan 3, edited by Vogue. I forgot to mention, these are edited by Anna Winter. So when she passes on anything, she always does her signature, which is A-W-O-K. Her name is Anna Winter from Vogue. These are the edited by Vogue, Road to the Runway, Jordan 3, women's, and the man size. Let's get ready for the review. Let's go. What's happening, YouTube? What up, Supreme Knowledge YouTube gang? Your boy, SGK TV. Back at it. I got another review for you guys. I think something that a lot of people didn't... I didn't see a lot of reviews on. Something that might be slept on. Something that some might people really might like. Something that might some people might hate. Um, this was something that I, I really enjoyed picking up. When it came out, I remember, I just didn't get a chance to really look at them and do a review. Like I said, everything that's really in here right now, building the studio, everything is an unboxing. And I got back-to-back -back videos for you guys, because I ain't got shit to do tonight, you feel me? So before we get started, I want to say peace and blessings, love, shout out to everybody that holds me down and watches my videos. Make sure you guys subscribe, thumbs up, thumbs down, comment, let me know your opinion, let me know what kind of sneakers you want to see, what type of reviews you want to see. Anything of that nature, your opinion is what counts. I do this shit for y'all. I do this shit for my, my demographic. And that's about it. You dig what I'm saying? And for the trolls and the haters, we got stuff for them. But we ain't going to talk about them. You know what I'm saying? We're just going to let that be. You dig? So, again, let's get right, right into it. We're not going to waste too much time. All right? Here we go. Jordan Box. Really nice uh, kind of... Uh, L luxurious, you know, kind of like a, you know, a, a on the high end uh, type of wave uh, that we're looking at because these are the actual Vogue. Edition. Threes. A-W-O-K. For what's homegirl's name? Where she, uh, so the reason for that is that she would always just, uh, <clears throat> if she would pass on something, right, from like an intern or uh, a project, she would just, you know, like, uh, you know, put her initials, pop out, okay. So it's a go. So that's kind of like the theme why you see that. Do we have the little metal circle? Uh, Edited by Vogue. Her signature on here. I forgot. Amanda something. Please comment below because I don't want to waste minutes trying to remember what her name is. Um, the chief uh, CEO of Vogue. Uh, the lady with the big glasses. I know her name, but I'm not going to waste minutes thinking about it. Comment below uh, what her name is. <clears throat> that way I can move on. Bottom, nothing too crazy. Uh, it is a shiny... You know, box. It is like a Vogue feel again. You know, runway type of luxurious feel. White jump man on there. And when we open it, you can see the the black jump man indented. It's all glossy. Uh, really dope. Uh, Nike, straight up. Really like again luxurious feel to it. Now these are women's. You know what I'm saying? These are women's. So. Let's run it down. You dig what I'm saying? So, women Air Jordan 3, R-T-R-S-E-A, walk, which, again, is her initials, A-W-O-K, N-R-G, 11 and a half in women's, which is a 10 U.S. in men's. There is the actual model number, BQ3195601. The colorway for these joints... These are the University Red, Sail Black, all right? So we have that. Remember, you can do the math whether up or down. 11 and a half in women's is 10 U.S. in men's. White tissue paper with the red jump man on there. I like when you do stuff like this. And very, very luxurious, shiny, diamond, glossy, type of feel to, to these. 
I figured since we're going to be doing a review on the Jordan 4s, what the, the theme is, you know, what the 4s, like what the LeBrons and sh like that, I thought, yo, let me get these out the way and let me take a look at them. But most likely, I'm going to do the review for you guys. Again, we got her signature with the OK. Again, that comes from her signing off on things. So if it was me, it'd be AD, OK, bow. Meaning it's a go. Go ahead with that project. Yeah, I like that cover. Yeah, that editorial, that piece is cool. About her her initial, okay. Mention, uh, comment below her name, because I forget her name. You put the sneakers to the side so you guys can see again. Red jump, man. Blah, blah, blah. You got the green joint sticker on that side. And that's about it for the box. Nike receipt. And here to go to kicks. I picked up the red joints, obviously, instead of the, there was two of them. It was a black joint and a red joint. I went with the red, of course. I thought it would look a lot, to me, just, I'm always go with red. And I thought, well, let's see what the actual retail box price is real quick. I'm sorry, ladies and gents. Okay, we actually don't have a little price tag on, on these joints. But I tell you right now, don't worry about that. Welcome to the show, ladies and gentlemen. You guys are tuned in. Could have been anywhere in the world, but you're here with me. You heard? Let's see. Uh, where's the total of how much these cost? God damn it. Well, we don't got a price on, on the actual receipt, which is weird. We got the UPC number. 0088723127701. Style color, I mentioned it. Air Jordan 3, R-T-R-S-E-A-W-O. E, -E, -E 250 box price, 225 retail on these. Again, I went with the red. Women's joints, but this is for me all day. So we have this like bedazzled type of look. You know, rhinestone, diamond type of feel, but there's nothing glued or set on the joints. But let's take a, let's take a look and do the review, as always, from the bottom to the top of the joints. So on the outsole, you have the sail or the cream with the University Red with the Jordan. Ripped up, pivot point. Air unit is red with the red towers in that joint. With the black polyurethane strapping around the back. This is the left pair. You see that glossy patent leather on the back tab. Let's see if we got anything on here. No. You see that glossy. Patent leather like strapped over something that's pretty rough. Might want to wipe this down with again her signature, her trademark that she signs off on everything. Amanda Weinstein, I forget what her name is, but she puts her signature, which is AWOK. Bow. Signed off on the right pair. Then when we go up to the upper. We got everything pretty much attached together with the black canvas type of feel, California canvas throughout the joints. And it gives you the look that you kind of have like diamonds or, you know, some sort of setting on the joints. But you don't. It's, it's not mesh, but, you know, it is like a very, very, very thick, you know, California canvas or canvas, very thick with a 3D print, kind of embroidered and like honeycombed. You understand, like the, as far as like the way they did it, because the way the way you're getting that shot or th that look, like it's diamonds or rhinestones, is because. Hold on, let me see if I can tune in a little closer. Because the way it's stitched. It's stitched like this. Boom. One under. 
boom, one over, and so on and so on. The only difference is that it's being done with black, red, white stitching, and somehow they made like the the in between parts like right here, right here, pop with some sort of like glitter type of shine. But there is no no stones or nothing that can jump off. It's very thick material. All right. Dope, dope. Again, outlined with this throughout the whole joint. <clears throat> As we go up to the top, we have black leather. Really, really premium, stylish um, joints. That's what I knew was gonna was gonna be. Real premium, stylish type of pinnacle uh, wave on these. For some of you guys, the black might be a better look. Uh, as far as the hang tag, we got the Jumpman red joint on the other side. We got edited by Vogue, the Vogue edition joints. You even see like the little joints are white, like in a pearly type of wave. Then when we get up here, again, we're getting into leather, white eyelids with black laces. As far as the tongue, from the bottom all the way to the top, it's leather with the white jump man on this joint. Very premium-ish looking leather, if you can see that. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> we get to the inside. There's the ticket to snatch. 11 and a half US. And this is silkish type of feel. If you can see that, it's like a silk. You know what I'm saying? Type of feel on the back of the tongue. Same with the sock lining, the guts, leather on the outside. And when you get to the inside, it's like a silk feel. You know what I'm saying? Real, just super real smooth women's joints. You know what I'm saying? So it's real sexy. You know what I'm saying? We get to the shoe tree. Again, some of you guys, <clears throat> this, these shoes are dope. All right? Awesome. So this might not be your joint. So you might, if you're interested, you might want to go for the blacks. Bow. Because you're dealing with premium shit. And I don't think they're very expensive. There's the shoe tree. This one is pretty puffed out a little bit. This is a size... 10 in men's, so it's eight and a half through 10, but it's a woman size 11 and a half. So this is an 11 and a half, and the shoe tree is 8.5 through 10, which is a size 10. So the shoe tree is kind of reversed, made kind of for men in a way, because it should be something to 11 and a half for the women's. You dig what I'm saying? But I'm dealing with an 11 and a half, which turns into a size 10 for men, which is my size. There's a shoe tree. When we get to the inside, the laces are, again, the same type of silkyish material that the sock liner, the guts, the inside is done in. On the left pair, we have a red footbed. With the white jump man. I like these. On the inside, same deal as far as the colors. Outer, creamish, mid, white sail, red towers, found black polyurethane gripping the butt the back on the heel. That back is shiny and it's dope. That leather is dope. The silk sock liner, even on the back of the tongue, is dope. The leather quality is dope. And just the way these kind of just shine like they're diamond out is crazy. And again, there's nothing going on. It's just like super thick canvas. 
It's just again, I forget uh, how you how you call it exactly when you uh, when you embroid um, this way. I believe it's called the honeycomb embroider embroider where you're using. Let me see what we got here. We got like three colors. Yeah, like four colors. So again, it's a type of embroidery or embroidery where one goes this way, then one goes up, then one goes on the bottom, and the next one goes on the top, then this one comes, and that one goes on the bottom, and then on the top, and so on and so on and so on. And that's how you kind of get the look how these are finished as far as that diamond feel, that diamond look. You know what I'm saying? That's the left pair. The back's ill. My mom loved these if she would see them because she has all the Vogue magazines. So this is the right pair. Hold on. But yeah, this is the left Vogue joints. Here's the right extra pair of laces. See, you can see the laces. Look at the laces, the white ones. They're like silky, like satin. There we go. Satin is the word I'm looking for. Satin. Satin laces, satin sock liner, satin back of the tongue. On the back of this one, same jump off. No jump man, no Nike Air, nothing like that. Her two initials with the OK. In this case, I, I, I guess we can say she OK'd the shoes. Like, about OK, go for it. Again, with the white laces for me. You guys know, I think the white laces would probably look dope. But for this specific pair, I'll probably do one black, one white, or both of them white for me. And on the right pair, again, the shoe tree is in there. I showed it to you guys on the right pair, on the footbed, the insole. We have edited by Vogue. On the other one, we have the white Jumpman. On this one, we have the white edited by Vogue, just like on the box. Again, satin, silky. On the back of the tongue, the whole inside, not just the like on the sides right here, whole insides with the satin silk feel until about here where you get to like this area. Again, leather, white jump man, good leather. Satin white laces, satin black laces. Not something that you probably see a lot of people wearing every day. You know, you're not probably going to catch a lot of people on the street with the Vogue edition threes. You know what I'm saying? Um, <clears throat> acquired taste. Again, for some of you guys, you might want to go for the black joints. But I, I like... I like what I like. You guys know me. And uh, the back is dope. Definitely different. Definitely something that was kind of, I'd say, a little bit slept on. But again, when they do everything women's, women's, it's really hard. By the time you get to try to make, make your purchase, you know, you can't get to the to the to the, ten, to the size 10 and a half, 11, 11 and a half, 12, 12 and a half. You know, you're left with like five, six maybe up to eight which is not going to do nothing as, as far as like a man size besides for like preschool or grade school and things like that very well done um no imperfections on this shoe again when you're dealing with a brand like vogue she's gonna okay it number one like she does everything else that's why the theme is with her signature with the okay you dig what I'm saying? There, There is no imperfections on the shoe. You can't find any type of glue or like little mess up. Everything is premium quality. The leather, the satin, the laces, the extra laces. Again, to do this, it's a lot more expensive than just to use canvas or leather patent leather you know what i'm saying this is this this is different i'm sure maybe <clears throat> the machines do it but 
it takes four different uh, materials. And it takes a different setting to embroider it. Again, like I showed you guys, it's, it's kind of like one over, one under, one over, then the next one. And then under and over and under and over and so on and so on. How they get the, like the diamond type of glitter, you know, iced out look, I don't know. Because there's nothing as far as like any type of stones. It's just we have red, white, black. If you look close, like at one of the squares, like maybe just right there, you can kind of see what I'm talking about as far as going up, under, up, under, next row, up, under, up, under, next row, up, under, up, under, next row, and then the black that's got to chop it off. If you guys are seeing or understand what I'm saying. How they got that little glitter look, I don't know. I'm assuming maybe one to... One of the materials that's running through has some sort of glitter or shine. So you dig? I don't know. Super slept on joints. Of course, they are women's. Of course, they are hard to get men's sizes when they do women's joints. You know what I'm saying? Kind of like the Fearless Jordan 1s, uh, some of those. And, you know, every time they do women's joints, it's kind of hard to get your, you know, get, get, get a size 10 in men, especially for me. But um, dope, dope joints. You guys love, you guys know that one of my favorite joints is the Pinnacle line from Jordan. The Pinnacle 1s, the Pinnacle 4s, the Pinnacle 5s. You know, at that $450, $500 box price. You know, I just love the premium quality shit. You can't find an imperfection on these joints. Look at the toe cap. Look at the toe box. Very loopy. Very loopy with that black that, that holds everything together i guess you can say no swoosh not like that very loopy with that black it gives it a good effect a good contrast a good 3d it gives it some bulkiness to it you feel me a little something different you know what i'm saying definitely something different definitely an acquired taste definitely churn heads definitely very voguish very you know vogue you know what I'm saying? Fashion show, runway type of style with the satin, you know, the materials, the premium leather, the inside, satin laces. I love that. I wish they would do more stuff like that, you heard? Leather, again, you can look at this and just, just see it. Wouldn't lie to you guys. <clears throat> very, very dope. As far as like the look, the color, again, that's preference. As far as everything else, like built quality materials, um, the theme, Vogue with Homegirl, CEO. Comment below her name. God damn it, I don't want to waste no more time. Um, you know, but that's her that's her signature line as far as um okay in anything. Her two initials in the okay, which is A, W, and OK. Find that on everywhere that she would sign off. Yeah, this this cover will work. Whatever the, the, you know what I'm saying. She sits at her desk. If you guys go look it up, you'll see her at her desk. She wears them big glasses. Again, I got her name on the tip of my tongue. I can't remember it. Uh, you know, she wears the big glasses. She's the boss lady. And when you come to her with something and she's with it, she's going to put that on there. Okay. So it's a go. And these are a go for me. Hope you guys enjoyed the review. Hope you guys appreciated the time. Very, very dope. I would give these a 9.5 out of 10 as far as quality, materials, theme. And as far as look, all of that is preference. I can't put a number on that. You heard? Peace and blessings to everybody. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll give you guys a couple more looks just in case. I don't know how much are these reselling for. I'm assuming not much. Or maybe I'm incorrect. I don't know. But they are lit. Rope lace supply. Laced up laces. They have satin and all types of style laces. So even maybe some like red. Gucci style red and black laces. Probably will look dope on these too. I think those white satin ones though. 
are what's going to make these pop. Four K, no three M or anything like that, but they do shine. They are iced out without having any type of setting of any type of stones on, which is ill. Again, with that honeycomb netting embroidery, that's how they did that. Again, inside out box presentation theme, dope, ill. Just a matter of preference of the color. Again, some of you guys, the black joints might be more subtle for y'all. But for me, these are a go. And I will be grabbing the black ones. Hope you guys enjoyed the review, man. I'll be right back. And I'll catch you guys in a little bit, man. Peace and blessings. Till next time, SGK TV Network 1.